be here. Uh, you've talked about the love and support you receive from your parents and doctors and friends. Uh, for any of your peers who may be watching today, thinking about maybe how to talk to their parents, how to talk to their friends, maybe not in as uh, welcoming or comforting of a circumstance as you were blessed to have, what words of encouragement uh, would you offer to them given your experience and given your advocacy? Uh, the main thing I would want to convey to them is that they are not alone. Um, whenever I started my journey, um, I had just entered middle school, and as I said, I had to move to online school because of bullying. Um, and I was in a very dark place, and I felt very alone. I had no friends. I just had my parents who were luckily supportive. But, you know, as a child, you feel so isolated. Um, and so one of the things that helped me was um, getting involved in my community. Uh, my parents took me to our local uh, P flag, um, which is Parents and Friends of Lesbians and Gays. It was a group of uh, people who um, was just a round table of queer members of the community and allies who just came together to share their experiences and just have a good time. And I was scared going to that meeting, but as soon as I got there, I felt so welcomed. And it was the first time I did not feel alone. And so that's why I'm here today, to tell those trans kids that they are not alone, that I accept them and so many um, other people accept them for who they are because it's not a choice. And um, that regardless of what people say to you, just remember who you are and stick to that.